TGR. Hey guys, it is your boy Onyx, and today we are doing our next book review. And what book is it, you might ask? Well, it's none other than the new, or I guess you can consider a new if you count a few weeks old new, Final Fantasy VII Remake World Preview. Now, this book published by Square Enix Books is brand new. I've not taken it out of its uh, shrink wrap, so we're going to do that on this video first time I've ever taken a shrink wrap off on a video which is kind of neat as you can see I'm gonna struggle here for a bit it's always fun to struggle come on I believe in you might fast forward this might not I don't know let's bump the camera once why not here we go almost there almost there almost there come on you can do this I believe I believe it yeah <clears throat> let's get rid of that get out of here okay Yep, yep, bye-bye. And here it is, guys. Final Fantasy VII Remake World Preview. Now, as you notice... Oh, it's different. Okay, so let's first uh, put this thing back. So as you can see here, the World Preview actually has a glossy cover uh, that is removable. The book itself is hardcover. So let's go ahead and take that out so we can see the actual cover of the book itself. So here's again showing you the full slipcase thing of a bob. Plastic slipcase, I don't know. So here is the actual art. It is really nice. I really, really like this. It is the uh it, it one of the one of the promotional wallpapers for the game. Beautiful stuff. Love this artwork. I believe Rudy actually has it as his background for his PC. But anyway, let's get right into this little book. Uh, so Final Fantasy VII Remake World Preview. Here's some interviews and notes from Kitase and Nomura, which obviously were heavily involved with the original and the remake contents, and here's some prologue. So I've never seen one of these preview books before. I thought it was going to be like the Ultimania archive, so let's just see how it really is. Uh, here's some key terms. Chapter 1, it's about the characters. So here's Cloud Strife, uh, some nice art, some screenshots of the game, and the promotional art that was remade from the first one, Aerith Gainsborough. So yeah, a lot of screenshots, a lot of background information. Well, actually not a lot of background information. It's more like snippets here and there. And I, but I do say I'd like to see the full quality art from the, from the game, the one that was remade, because that art is really, really good and hard to find online at full quality. Um, here's Barrett, here's Tifa. Like this art in particular is just really, really well done. So far from what I'm looking at, I'm not really sure if I like the fact that it's a lot of screenshots from the game. The game itself looks phenomenal. This is one of the best looking uh, games this generation, in my opinion. Uh, it's up there with Last of Us Part Two, especially the character models. So, you know, besides the promotional art, to see a lot of screenshots, it's a little disheartening. Here's Sephiroth. Turn this page, Onyx, there we go. More screenshots. Again, the remade promotional art. Side characters or secondary characters. Reno, which is... I mean, I love his fight, by the way. I'll use his, his music here, why not? Uh, Seng, President Shinra, Heidegger. So, I mean, the characters are fine. It's just little snippets of information from the characters and some little screenshots and some very minor art. For Chapter 2, we, look, we do the location preview. My god, this book is actually really, really short. <laughs> Chapter 1 took uh, a lot of chunk out of that out of that uh, full length. Um, yeah, here's some pictures. Again, screenshots and or overviews of the, of the areas and locations. Oh, no, this is cool. So you get to see the original view, right? The original look of the areas in comparison to the remake. Here's the original, and that was the remake over there with the red font. Pretty cool. This is actually a pretty good section. I like this. Okay, we move on to Chapter 3, System. So battle systems summon systems you name it 
Um, it's just examples. This almost feels like a guide, which is kind of interesting. But uh, here's the summons, which look really, really good in this game. Chocobo and Moogle. I wonder if we'll have the DLC ones. Oh, but here's Shiva looking like a queen. Yes. And Leviathan is great. Law looks good. Carbuncle. What the f*** happened to this guy? Ah. Oh. Anyway, uh, weapons, uh, upgrading, mini games. So this is okay. This is fine. It's um. Oh, here you go. Looking at the classic battle system, pretty cool. I actually really want to read this section because there's a lot of info here that might be kind of interesting to see. Here's some merchandise, some figures. Uh, oh, those are some nice looking watches. I like those. The plushies. More merch and umbrella, I guess. Cool. <laughs> Uh, what is this? Uh, Final Fantasy VII Remake. Oh, so this is a story of Aerith Gainsborough's childhood. Well, there you go. You get some backstory on Aerith. Pretty cool. If you're into that stuff. And that's it. So that's it, guys. I, you know, I've never had a world preview. Again, going in, I thought it was going to be like the Ultimania books, which have a lot more information, a lot more concept art. This didn't have it. Um, unfortunately, this world preview here... Uh, it's a little, it's a little disappointing. I wanted to see more concept art from Final Fantasy VII Remake, uh, and we did not get that. So maybe that's on me. I should have known that it was named World Preview, and it was pretty cheap, twenty-five dollars retail, and uh, I paid twenty-two for it. So I probably should have known, but you know, yeah, here it is, twenty-five dollars retail. I should have known that it was going to be a little bit. It wasn't going to be fully in-depth, and that's okay. It's not a bad book for the diehard. I think if you're a big fan of Final Fantasy VII Remake, it's worth having. But if you're not, then by all means. I personally give this book a TGR Silver. It's not a great book, but it's also not bad. It's, like I said, worth having if you're a diehard Final Fantasy VII Remake fan. And as always, guys, thank you so much to our patrons, YouTube members, and Twitch subscribers. Without your support, we wouldn't be doing videos like this at all. So thanks again, and special shoutouts to our top patrons, YouTube members, and Twitch subscribers. Adrian, Daniel, Felix, Jan, JD, Nico, and Shane. Again, without your support, this just wouldn't happen. So thank you so much for your amazing consideration and appreciation. But anyway, guys, thanks so much for tuning in and checking out this review. We will do a lot more in the future, and we'll catch you on the next one. Later, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to see more and stay up to date, subscribe, hit the little bell, and join our Discord. If you want to support the channel, please check out our Patreon or hit the join button below. As always, thanks for your support, and thanks for watching.